Well, the Port of Baltimore is going to be getting even busier now as a new container line service is coming to our area. Governor Larry Hogan was on hand to say hello to the Zim e Commerce Baltimore Express. And right now, WJZ is live. Avajoy Burnett joins us from the Port of Baltimore. And Avajoy, they say this is actually going to help alleviate a lot of the troubles with supply chain issues. You know, when I was tweeting about this earlier, Rick and Denise, that's what some people were asking about on Twitter. This company is promising a direct access from Asia straight into Baltimore. They're saying they will be the fastest route between the continents. As you mentioned, the company, it's called Zim. And in an era where we keep hearing about supply chain issues, this couldn't come at a better time. They're promising quicker access to many of the products that you may be ordering online and they're slow to get here. Or you may even go to the stores and you don't see them on the shelves. One other thing that we want you to know about, the service will start with about twice per month deliveries here into the Port of Baltimore, but then they want to ramp up to once a week. And if that doesn't sound like a lot, think about the massive container ships that we see going in and out. Some of them are able to carry up to 4,000, close to 5,000 containers. That's a lot of product with things that you need. Well, the ZXB will be offering customers the fastest transit time from Asia to Baltimore, guaranteed space and equipment, and expedited rail, air, and road connections to inland destinations. Now, this new shipping company will make Baltimore the first stop. That is pretty significant. And then they will go up to New York, Boston, and then back to China and start it all over again. So that shows you the significance, not only geographically of Baltimore's location, but also the importance of this relationship of making Baltimore the first stop. Coming up in WJZ at 5, we're going to have a lot more about the story. A lot of people are here from this Israeli company that owns Zim. Uh, so you will hear more from that press conference earlier today and how this will impact you and your household. Back to you. I've enjoyed great coverage. Thank you. Well, the